Welcome back, we return once more to the Dutch realm here at the turn of the century. We're only four years away from the 1900, so we really need to do something to commemorate this. And I think some more uh, African expansion will be the do, will do the trick, essentially. We have Senussi over here and we have Ausa. And we need to take both of them because they're both vulnerable and we need to take them before anyone else does it. So we will do just that. And we will declare war here on Ausa immediately because they're protected by no one. And we have an army ready to swoop in and just take it. We will do the same here to Senussi, because it will give us some nice areas here in Surinaika, including some more coast, which will be wonderful, including also uh, uh, Tobruk and Benghazi. So we will swoop in and take that as well. There we go. Senussi, we are at war with you now, and we will go in and take to uh, Tobruk from you. We actually will take all your country. We also have our friend here, the Turkish Socialist Republic, which is both weak and we have little use of them. I mean, they only have a few men scattered all over the place. We could take some more desert over here. We could take Tripolitania. We could take Egyptian desert. We could even take the Holy Land and Free Palestine at long last. Those are all things that we could do. Things that we might also do. Who knows? But first we'll focus on taking down Ausa and Senussi. While also expanding a bit over here in the core homeland of the Dutch realm. The fourth army is standing ready and vigilant to be part of any kind of war that might happen. We need to fi fix our steamer convoy issue because we're not getting any steamer convoys whatsoever. So perhaps we need to make another one that will build them. Maybe here in uh, Friesland we could build a steamer a steamer shipyard. We need to have coal. Also is ready. Wait, we will not agree to that yet. We will actually pause in a little bit. And we will need coal, steel and wood in order to make steamers. And that seems acceptable. So we will make a steamer shipyard over here and then force expansion on all of them. That should do the trick. And since I know for a fact that you belong, you belong to two different regions, Ausa, we will add another war goal for... Uh, I guess place in the sun? Do we really need to use place in the sun all of a sudden? Seriously? Because now we are going for demand of our Eritrea, which is this over here. We need Asaita as well, and that's part of Tigray. And since Tigray is e Ethiopian, I think we will need to spend some shit. This one will cost 5, this one will cost 5.5, so establish protectorate. Seems not to be possible. So this does not seem to be possible either. Why is this not possible? Make puppet does not seem to be possible. Nothing seems to be possible. I don't understand. Well, maybe if we occupy it, maybe then will it will be possible. Place in the sun, degrade, not possible. Could I get a reason for why nothing is possible? No, I will not get a reason. Fine then, we will just occupy them until they give what give us what we want. Uh, Saita. Also, I noticed one more thing that could be useful. Here, when I was looking at things before starting. We have reformed the Dutch colonial army, which we could do feasibly at one point or another. Reform the Dutch colonial army. We need to have invented naval logistics and Bell and Grace telephones. So where are the damn telephones? Telephones, telephones. Bell and someone's telephones. Where are they? Maybe they are in a different place. Who knows? Uh, but we needed navy, naval logistics. So we may go for naval logistics now, just to unlock it. Then I need to find those damn telephones, wherever the hell they are. I would assume we had, you know, found telephones at this point. Now there's aeroplanes. Direct current, alternating current. No, nothing of that seems to be it. Synthetic polymers. No. There, Bell and Grace telephones. We have a minus 2% chance. We need to have... Electrical power generation. 
That will give us 2%. Do not have Edison light bulbs. Okay, how do we get Edison light bulbs? Edison light bulb. Direct current will... Uh, okay, so having direct current would be very good. So having electrical power generation would be good in any other way. So maybe we'll, we, maybe we will get that. But I think I'm going to argue for this logic. Since we, at the moment, at least... Now suddenly we can. Okay. Then, sure. We will go for this then. I don't know why this suddenly... Oh, god, I almost... Almost forgot about the infamy cap. But since we suddenly can do it, we will do it. And Sanusi? There we go. And you are willing to be completely annexed. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, at least we completed Dutch Africa. Great wars discovered in France. Well, that sucks. Let's not get dragged into one, at least not right off the bat. Maybe if we find a very, very good one, then we will take part. But only if we find a very, very good one. Beyond that, I think we want to stay as far away from it as possible. This is unfortunate. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go into the damn place in order to completely occupy it, but apparently we will have to. So we'll send half the army in so not everyone will die. Oh, now suddenly they are willing. Both Albania and Banat wants to have an alliance. Both Albania and Banat. Banat is allied to Germany. Albania doesn't have an alliance. We will stay far away from you know this this entire area as much as we can bulgaria an exception to that rule we're earning so goddamn much money why are we earning so much money germany we will have an alliance from norway sure i mean with these allies perhaps we can win but what happened to our dear friend and ally belgium belgium do you want to be friends with me no due to my infamy Apparently I have too many alliances as well. Well, we will be friends, Belgium. We will be friends. At least we have Germany now, which is mass-producing armies, because they apparently don't have any armies. Or they have put them somewhere else. 33? No, they barely have any armies. And they don't even have Alsace-Lorraine. So it's a pretty poor... Oh, Austria-Hungary. Maybe they will lose... Oh god, this turned ugly. Maybe they will lose their Austro-Hungarian Congo areas. Perhaps this is a time to strike. Perhaps justify war, place in the sun, or something. Or maybe they will just release, you know, Congo free state into being well, just Congo really. At this point, you should be able to de make the demand. Hey, Turkey, we have everything else around you. Just give up the Egyptian desert, will you? And they would probably say, sure, why not? You're a nice guy. I have no reason to not trust you. And then we'll just say, oh, good choice. And that's all. That's all they will say. This army is about as ready as it can be, but I hate having undermanned brigades. It's the worst in the world. But what can we do? They need one more artillery up there. And I honestly think we should use a different setup for these regions due to the increased or rather decreased supply limit that can be found here. Acquire Transvaal, Loronco, Maro... Sure. Why not? Portuguese Africa is looking about what, that's what you could expect. No, we don't want to organize Dahomey, Somalia. We don't want to organize Sudan. So we will get rid of those notifications. There we go. There we go. And now we will head for electri electrical power generation. Because it can be useful in the future. And just uh, try to do some reorganization here with the colonial armies. So, since uh, we want... No, this is the wrong button. Since we want to have a smaller army, we will first of all get rid of these guys. And then we will get rid of one more. And then we will get rid of two. Wait, this doesn't work. Now there will be five of these, and then we will have one Hussar come and join them. That sounds about right. Do we have a Hussar here? No, we do not. Alright, 
Do we have a star here? We do. Good. So we will take away these two. And he, they, he's fine now. Disband, disband underman brigades. So we will recruit. Wait, we have hussars underway. Where? This army is just not doing too well. Why are we not getting the hussars here? Luxury clothes. We don't have luxury clothes even. We have so much money. How do we not have luxury clothes? Apparently we're not making any luxury clothes. Perhaps I will make it my own on my own. Okay. I mean, seriously, we are... Oh, we are approaching secondary... Uh, I mean, great power status. Perhaps it is because Austria-Hungary suffered a horrible, horrible defeat. I wonder what happened in that war. Discredited, discredited. United Kingdom entered a um, military alliance with Russia. We don't care about that. That's discredited, discredited. Discredited, discredited. I want to see what happened in the war. I must have missed it. Okay, that's fine. Serbia wanted to have their time to shine, to shine I mean. And, uh, well, they're not going to get it. Austria-Hungary, far too strong still. Despite the losses, despite the problems. I missed, um, it's just a shame that Austria-Hungary didn't lose more than they did. And now we are a great power. We have risen, risen to great powership. Or power them. Or something. Something like that. And now we can put Turkish Socialist Republic under our sphere. We can even increase our influence here. If we so would wish. We have excellent relations with them. And Belgium. I want to be friends with you, Belgium. Other national investors. No. No way. We will invest more in their country. We have unlimited money. Unlimited money. Also, we need to take back Java. At one point or another. Still 76 brigades. Wait, that's us. Still 236 brigades. Holy crap. I was hoping that would be better for us. Apparently not. And no transport ships to be seen. This is just terrible. This goddamn awful. Well, I mean, Java, sure. We need to take it back. But there's no rush. Maybe we can take them under our... No, wait, they're already under bloody Japan sphere. Go away, Japan. No one likes you. Well, a bunch of people do. Greece, Serbia, and now we have another one in here. Cordial. Good. Belgium wants an alliance. Suddenly it befits Belgium to be allied with us. Great. And we still ally with Germany. Still allied with Germany. So we could go to war against France. Wait, they're allied to Russia. Everyone's allied to Russia. Why are they allied to Russia? I don't know. We could go to war against Austria-Hungary. I could, you know, make a... Well, I could, but I probably shouldn't. Infamy and all. Seems like a bad idea. Belgium. Increased opinion. Cordial. We have great relations to, to them and to Turkey. Uh, oh, rubber. It's the rubber time now. Well, it's, about, it's about time for that. The opinion of us in Belgium dropped to normal. Screw you, France. Let's not do this again. Just give up. Just give up before I invest money into this country. See, I invested a lot of money. I clicked the wrong button even. And uh, we will invest in steamer shipyards because we need more of them. Romania wants an alliance? Sure. Sure, Romania. We're good friends now. And Turkey is now friendly to us. And Austria-Hungary wants an alliance. Holy shit, everything is happening at the same time. And suddenly we can reform the colonial, Dutch colonial army. And we will do so. Good. That should help. Let's reform the local government as well. Because why the hell not? And Austria-Hungary promises an alliance. And uh, suddenly Romania decides to go balls to the walls, idi idiotic, and declare war on Banat. And have Germany against them. 
This is what I don't like about allies. Stop doing it. The thing is, with Austria-Hungary, they're probably going to go, go up and usurp our title, so we don't want to be allied to them. I'm sorry. You're just going to take my things away from me, my toys. I don't like that. Okay, let's uh, disband Underman Brigades. And try to see if we can get some of these luxury clothes anytime soon. Is, are they in high demand? They definitely are. Are we buying up stockpile? Or at least trying to. Spain wants an alliance. Spain, do you have any outstanding feuds with anyone that I should be aware of? Not really. I mean, there's Dutch Morocco over here, but that's, you know, that's ours. Okay, let's be friends with uh, Spain. We're also friends with uh, our friends, and that helps. That's good. The Dutch East Indies. Bali. Yeah, we could take Bali. Definitely. And that would put us in the ability to walk to Java. It would give us two infamy and establish protectorate over Bali, which is under Japanese well, stewardship. Speaking of ships, they don't have that many. So are we prepared for a conflict with Japan? We could be. Plus, we should have cores or something on Java, don't we? No, apparently not. So do we have any ability here to declare war on them? No, we actually have really good relations with, to them. They love us. So uh, I actually think we shouldn't. I mean, sure, we lose some prestige, but... We need to save up our infamy for better opportunities. And Dutch East Indies will uh, support an independent Bali. Because we're just nice like that. Nice guys. Nice people. I'm tempted almost to go for Dragoons instead if Hussar's going to be that expensive. Dragoons, what do you cost? You cost us wine? Really? Meanwhile, Hussar's cost luxury clothes. I mean, you could go for Hussar's. It's not ex as effective. Uh, assert our position. Why do we have all these with losing prestige or infamy? I just want to be friends with everyone. Friends and, and everything. Okay, Africa. We will go for Dragoons instead. And they're not as good. Not as good when it comes to Reconnaissance. The Hussars have three Reconnaissance and Dragoons have two. But it will be better than nothing. And that's... Well, that's better than nothing. <laughs> Plus, we don't have Luxury Clothes, clearly. So we perhaps we can do with Wine instead. So Wine it will be. So there will be... A couple of these, and let's go for one mystery and Magabi. Let's just get a few, and then we will disband those that are in bad places. That should work out really well. Germany is still reinforcing their army a ton. Do we have any war exhaustion? No. We are ready for war, should it come to us. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Two years more until the turn of the century, when a bunch of technologies will be unlocked and ready. So are we actually making these armies now, or are they coming up with some other problem? No, they're actually being made. We actually can make them. It's the first time I run into the problem of not having any Luxury clothes or being able to make hussars even. Which is not boding well for our great power. Bulgaria and Albania wants to be allied. So why are we not allied to the Turkish Republic? Why are we not allied to them? Bulgaria, what would you be going for if we allied to you? They might declare war on Serbia or they might declare war on Turkey. Actually, I would be fine with a war with Turkey, so... Bulgaria, you're all right. Albania, sure. I mean, we can be friends with you too. Just don't do anything stupid. Or provoke someone to do stupid things to you. Belgium. Increase opinion. Yes, wonderful. Turkey adds a sphere. There we go. 
The Balfour Declaration. Yes, we definitely, sure. The Balfour Declaration has been made, and now suddenly Israel has a core of stuff here. It's fine. And there's a crisis maybe brewing. Oh, United States. Come on. What interest do you have in this world? So Poland is trying to be free, having Galicia Lodomeria. And Russia is opposing it. So freedom has come to Europe, you could say. Freedom. Brought to you by America. Trademarked. Dutch East Indies. Bali again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm losing so much prestige from it, and I don't know how far ahead I am, or we are here in points. 518. Uh, we, I mean, that's a fair bit. We are a fair bit ahead. Definitely a fair bit. Plus, we could declare war on Austria-Hungary, should there be, a, you know, the need for it. A war to take over territory. Holy hell, Krakowian nationalists. 94,000 men. Yeah, quite strong. Perhaps we could see a free Poland before the end of everything. It could be, could be. Election finished and now suddenly we have a liberal government. And taxes has been cut, but we are still earning a bunch of money. Despite taxes being cut. We are doing amazingly well with money. We are wealthy as hell. This is the real Dutchland, the real, the real thing. Belgium, how would you like to be friends with us? So we would like to be friends with you. Oh yeah. It would be nice if you could just demand stuff from... Like, Turkey Socialist Republic, give me your land. And then they could answer, oh, sure, why not? Or, well, we disagree. We think that we should be able to have our land for ourselves. You could say either or. I just wish I could remove all the infamy in the world. So I can take... Oh, that was very disappointing, America. Very disappointing. And now we have a free Krakow. Oh, Romania. I... Fool me once. Shame on... Shame on me. Fool me twice. Wait. It's not the way around, right? F fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Yeah, there we go. So I won't do it. You, we gave you a chance before, Romania. You... Mistreated our trust. You will pay for it. Neoclassical theory. Neoclassical theory. We need that factory input efficiency. We need to improve our efficiency everywhere. The only problem here is that some factories don't seem to be very... Well, don't seem to be doing very hot. Not hot at all. Definitely not super hot, which is a game I still have yet to play, but it seems pretty cool. Super hot. Atmosphere! Welcome back, Belgium. Welcome back. The lowlands are together once more, except for Luxembourg. Who cares about Luxembourg? We have the Bene, Bene countries, and Bene is good in Italian, so this can only be good in every way possible. The Bene Union. Serbia. I mean, sure, we can put Serbia. Honestly, I haven't really reflected on this, but Serbia, before the First World War, had something similar to this shape. They didn't have Vojvodina, and uh, I don't hear in either, so... But it does seem better if they had Macedonia still. So I honestly think that the former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia should just go back into being Serbia, because it looks better on the map. And... Looking good on the map, that's all we care about. Plus, it also looks better if Italy has Istria. I'm sorry, Croatia, but Italy really needs Istria. Or, I mean, Slovenia. Slovenia, Croatia, both of you. I'm sorry, both of you. But it just looks more pleasing, somehow, on the map. And I really think that, regardless of what you think, you really should appease my desire for aesthetics. Very reasonable demand, I think. So we finally found some Dragoons. We will send a Dragoon over to this one. And did this one have a Dragoon? Oh, it has a Hussar. Hussar, it already did have. And did you have a Hussar? 
You have a Dragoon now. Okay, we will have to split up this army. Into uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And now we have 24,000 men. And the only thing they are lacking, and this is the wonderful thing, the only thing they are lacking is one Engineer and one Hussar thing. I just need to find a place that I can recruit these things. Here we have an Engineer. They are volunteering, Ebo. And here we actually have a Dragoon. Excellent. And some ships are actually being made now. Is it because of our industry? Apparently it is. They are producing. They are finally, we ha finally have domestic production of steam shipyard transport thing. Definitely should make some steamer shipyards now. I mean steamer ships. Steam transports in Asia. Ten of them. Just boom, boom, boom. Throw them all out. Do we have any... We do have... Rally point here for, for ships. Wonderful. Yeah, finally we can move move about. We can get a hold of this colonial empire once more. It's about damn time. I feel. Do we make any guys up here in Marrakesh? We made a dragoon guy, but we don't need him. Austria-Hungary. Again. Austria-Hungary. I'm scared of you. And I don't want to be allied with you. I'm allied to Germany. Germany is all I need. We could go for Keynesian economies. We could. Or we can go for anti-rationalism, which seems even more relevant in this scenario. And, uh, yeah, anti-rationalism. And going into, into anti-rationalism, we're ending the first month of the new century. And uh, not much have happened, honestly, in this episode, but we have stabilized a bit more. And there's a war going on now between Italy and France, apparently. It's the Great War, actually, and this... Holy shit. Uh, yeah, so we end this episode with a Great War between Russia, France, Luxembourg, and a bunch of other nations on the other side. And uh, due to the United Kingdom, they seem to have the militarily up their hand. So we'll see what happens to that next episode. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.